Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to show you how to use the measuring microscope with the help of the trainer from Bern Hill Metrology Philippines. Uh, once again, good day. So, this is our Nikon measuring microscope. So, to start with, we need to open our microscope. Just press this one. Okay, after that one, we need to open the software. Uh, we have the software, we call the software Emacs. Just open it. And then in input our uh, username and After opening, so we need to place our specimen to the table stage. After that, we need to focus focus the specimen okay, by rotating this knob. As you can see, when we see the edge it should be sharp so if the edge is already sharp means it's already focused okay so we need to align the specimen we need to put some points point here and point on the other side to make the line so how to make it so for projection caliper we need point uh, right click uh, after you right click, you can see the yellow line means it has already take a point and then enter this is already one point and then we move the stage to the other side okay stage the other end okay so let's say this is the end we need to take another point here enter so this is the first point and the second point after that we combine this point to make it align so select these two points okay as you can see on our graphic window, this is our line, the blue one. Okay. Second, we need to make another point here on the side of the specimen. Okay. We need to make right click, enter. So this is another point. Okay, and then uh, we will set this line as our axis. Set axis, this line, then okay. We will take another point here to make a line also here on the side. Sorry.
Okay. Okay. So we will take this point and this point to make a line. This point and this point to make a line. And then the first uh, horizontal line and this uh, vertical line we need to intersect that point. And sorry, that line. Okay. So this is the intersection of that this line and this line. So we will set that intersection as origin. Okay. As you can see, this is already our origin. The intersection between the two lines is our origin. And the, the first line, the horizontal line, this one is our axis X. Okay. After we do the alignment, we can start our measurement. Uh, let's say we need to measure the length of our specimen. So I will travel this stage to the end. Okay, this one. So we will need to take a point there. Right click. Enter. This is the point. Since uh, we already have line on the other side and point on the right side, we can take the point to line distance. So, uh, this is the point and this is the line. Okay, so this is the measurement. So this is the measurement of the distance. If you want to measure the circle, just go to the circle. So, since our circle is uh, in the out without in the field of view, we will use points. We will use uh, points here, four points, to make a circle. Okay, so right now I will take a point also here. Okay, this is the first point. Enter. Then I will travel again to other part. Let's say here. point and then another one here okay that's will be the our third point and this will be our last one Okay, so these points, I will call for the circle and choose these four points to make the circle. So this is the circle. As you can see in our graphic window. Okay, so you can continue the measurement as long as you need to measure the spacing. Okay, that's all. See you again. Thank you very much.